if Finding Nemo was more scientifically accurate, Marlin would have turned into a woman. Okay, obviously trying to apply science to a talking fish movie is a silly premise, but this fact about clownfish is wild. Clownfish typically hang out in groups where there's one dominant female. As the primary breeder, she's the largest of the group. And then there's a hierarchy of males. With apologies to all of my short kings out there, the female only mates with the largest male clownfish in the bunch. But if the female dies or goes away, the largest male switches genders to become the new dominant female. All clownfish are born with male and female reproductive organs. And as the new breeding female, she then mates with the next largest male. Because Coral, Marlin's spouse, dies at the beginning of the movie, and they've mated a whole bunch, it would have been scientifically accurate for Nemo's dad to transition into being Nemo's new mom. But, like I said, it's a talking fish movie, and at some point we have to suspend our disbelief.